contract is a legal document between two counter parties where each one is expected to follow the guidelines in the contract what it is mentioned and mostly if you think about the contract it is mostly in the physical paper form with the evolution of internet there comes something in a digital way the contract becomes more smarter it follows a electronic commerce protocol so that you can program it that the contract can be self executed with time and it respects both the parties mutual trust but there is one problem with smart contracts this smart contracts is centralized system which is hackable the smart contracts were stunned by a pro computer programmer called nick shasbo in 1994 okay you might be confused with it that it is not giving a clear picture what i am going to talk about or why i am talking about the contracts let me take a real life scenario back in 1970s and in 1980s most of the people in search of job they migrated from villages to cities for better opportunity with this cycle most of the people have lost connectivity with their ancestral land or the ancestral home the worst thing happened is the local land mafias illegally occupied those land and there are so many cases in indian judiciary court regarding this let me show you the statistical view of this one there are around 22 million pending cases in indian district courts out of which 7 million are civil cases and 6 million have dragged to more than 5 years now coming to the cost part like how much cost we are bearing for that civil litigants spend around 497 inr per day and 9000 litigants showed up because they have been financially backed most of them couldn't show up also they don't have anything and this incurs the 9000 litigants who are coming into the coming to the court and showing up they are paying up around 844 rupees in a day either in the loss of pay or in a business and the total cost of litigation for the whole scenario is 0.5% of the gdp of india that is approx 2 trillion dollars it's very problematic right 0.5% of the gdp that to a 2 trillion dollar valuation but there is a say there is a great quote about it when there is more darkness the light burns more brighter there with this a magic innovation happened back after the financial crisis in 2008 there is a person or a group of person called satoshi nakamoto they were also anonymous they didn't came out with an identity they developed the first cryptocurrency of the world bitcoin bitcoin you you can do any type of transaction and it doesn't require any centralized any centralized party or any trusted party third party you don't need any financial or institution for that it's in your digital wallet you just transfer the bitcoin here and there let me show you how it actually works this bitcoin whenever you have some money with you you put it up in a tray that tray after that there is a node you are in the system you just validate that thing ki i am just spreading up to the other nodes that i am have i am having this money you are just broadcasting it there is some part of nodes they are also system in the whole surrounding or then the whole environment you can talk about they are validating that bitcoin after validation if it gets successful then then the tray gets attached with the first tray or gets attached to the chain and the chain is connected with a cryptographic chain with the hashing algorithms so think about something there are so many people here in the auditorium right so i have some money and i spread around that ki i have this much money with me and everybody knows it and if you are more into a if it is a if it is a computer programming and all then the history is immutable now if you want to add some more money then i need to validate it those validators are called miners 
that I showed that uh, nodes which are validating the uh, which are validating the cryptocurrency or which are validating the blocks actually. And with this validation, there is a complete chain. One tray, a chain. One tray, another chain. It's like a chain. This cryptocurrency, this Bitcoin, as it was developed to bypass the financial organization because financial organization were facing a lot of trouble after the crisis and people were losing up the trust, it got a huge popularity over there at that moment. Moreover, when Take it in a more brighter way, what is the example of Bitcoin can be like, I am in India and my brother is in UK. And I need to transfer some money to UK. So what you exactly do is, you transfer some amount to a bank, and then bank transfer, uh, then transfer the amount to another bank which has got the cross-border network in both the countries, cross-border presence you can say. And then it shifts that money to the local bank of that country. In my case, as my brother is in UK, so that money will be transferred to the UK. It takes a time of three to four days, charging you 10 to 12% of it. 10 to 12% of it. But these days, there are a lot of startups who are using Bitcoin. Like you have a mobile app. I just tried that, send this money to my brother in UK. I purchased a Bitcoin over it. I transferred that money to the, I transferred the Bitcoin to UK. And my brothers get the UK, uh, Bitcoin there. And he just converted the Bitcoin to its own home currency. The system is very fast as it is digital, digital, trustworthy because every node, as you see again in this diagram, that every node, if you take this person as a block or a tray, every node aware of the events. Secure, let me tell you, suppose you are a cyber hacker, you have changed the record in a particular tray. As everyone is aware of the event, so you need to change every record in every block and in every block, there are other servers also where the nodes are present. So you need to change those also. So it is something like you should have a huge computational power. A huge computational power and in one shot and breaking the cryptographic chains at that point also. It is practically impossible. This Bitcoin uses a particular technology. The underlying technology has got a magic in it. And that magic is going to revolutionize the 21st century. That is called blockchain. As I, was, I use the block and chain, yeah, that name is blockchain. Back in 2013, there's a 19 years old person called Vitalik Buterin from Canada. He integrated this smart contract functionality with blockchain. Earlier, the blockchain used to carry the currency. Now, the smart contract, what I said, the digital contracts which can be encrypted, but it was centralized. Now it is having the decentralized feature in it. You're not getting a clear picture about it, maybe now. So if this smart contracts combination with blockchain, which is a deadly combination, comes into the system, suppose I'm having a land, in the smart contract it is mentioned that this is the specification of the land, I'm the owner of it, this is the price, and this is the location where the land is. And it will be secured because that smart contract is replicated to different nodes. As I said, it is unhackable or practically unhackable, you can say. And if I want to sell this contract or sell this land to Ashok, then nothing in the smart contract only, I will be instructing it that this much part of land, you just transfer the ownership to Ashok. And the same series will be going on, validating it that that much land I am having or not. That validators, as I said, these are miners. And then Ashok can send it to Karthik, Lakshman, and anyone. It is a whole series, and this whole record is written. It is called Global Distributed Ledger. Blockchain, in short, is called Global Distributed Ledger, which is keeping track of every event, whatever it is happening with that asset. So let me tell you, I hope everyone has watched a movie called Robot, right? And there is another movie, something like iRobot also. What happened in that movie is that the smart scientist has created the greatest robot for, for himself and for the humanity, which can do everything for you. He can drive car for you, he can cook for you, whatever you say he will do. But in the climax it was shown that the robot was decommissioned. The only reason was, the robot 
was not having the ownership programmed well and it was controlled by a villain or a devil mind with smart contracts it won't happen suppose i am having any type of ai putting up that smart contracts the ownership will be controlled by me and it won't happen so this is the second example where you can use up to elaborate more you guys might be knowing internet of things internet of things these days everyone wants to chill have a phone just click on it all the lights in my room are on or off or my gates are closed on my car is in the garage or not my pet is safe or not my kids are safe or not anyone hasn't broke into my house internet of things you by this you can do it but there is one problem with it again it is trusting the third parties your data is being sent to some other company which is a third party some providing the iot services and providing you the iot enabled devices and putting up the services there but there is another problem over it you are sending each and every privacy data to them personal data is personal data and privacy data is two different things personal data is my name my aadhar card number my voter id my social security number of us anything privacy is what when i where i am going whom i am meeting who is my good friend whom i am dating with proximity devices like smart watches and all give the information about it these are iot devices and this is very very critical because this third party know what are your activities and they can alter your behavior you know right facebook how they do predictive analysis with the data what you do in the facebook and put up the post put up the advertisements and all yeah this iot enabled devices they can do that and it's a very very serious threat for the future coming to the point as i was explaining blockchain is secure yeah if you use the blockchain with smart contracts in your personal network keeping the ownership of the iot devices your data will be inside your network and it is unhackable it is encrypted well totally it's all in your finger it's all in your it's all in your fingerprint points now coming to the content industry people there are comedian there are mimicry artists there are singer there are youtubers whatever you say those who are making creativity inside their home and just promoting outside using the internet they are dependent on the third parties the famous third party uh, platform is youtube soundcloud and all and you get royalty out of it this artist they do such a hard work they get royalty out of it before that there was an era in 1970s and 80s where the artist used to get paid for each song played in a radio now if you compare the royalty you will see a lot more difference what it is happening because people are trusting on the third parties and moreover this third parties when they get popular and when there are so much of request coming from the artist regarding the content publishing they also negotiate at the royalties you don't get a proper count you not get a benefit with the actual royalty what you deserve with a blockchain you can promote your content putting up with a smart contract i mean blockchain with smart coins you can put up your content and can promote your content to all the network wherever you want there is a user wants to fetch the content the ownership will be travel to them or a particular temporary ownership will be travel to them by smart contracts and you will be getting feed out of it who is listening to my content and he has paid or not and it is unhackable typically it is the revolution to the content industry from where the cryptocurrency bitcoin developed where the underlying technology was blockchain so satoshi nagamoto the anonymous satoshi nagamoto developed it to bypass the third parties that bypass a financial institution who used to who used to i will say that play with your assets you have deposits in your bank and all and they just used to hedge the funds or anything to do more business it's like a cannibalism in banking industry and what we saw the adverse effect of 2008 crisis furthermore this blockchain was taken by the vitalik butrin and this smart contracts can enable something more you know about investment banking right if you don't know then i am telling you what it happens i book a trade 
there is a middle office back office which support and match the trade and calculate the risk matching the trade checking the books there is this trade is happened this in this book so it should be in this book also they match it why it is not matching and all most of the people in operation industry work in this with smart contracts you just book a trade you no need to worry about matching and all because then there no information can be overlapped with it as the cryptocurrency bitcoin solve the double spending problem it is also something like that so when you trade you just book it for one time and that record is immutable it will be only one time and it will be matching up with the other section also because the record is traveling from block by block by block by block unless any other action happen with the trade let me tell you something though it is a technology it is the trust what we are doing to a stranger the trust is enabled by a technology maybe we can say 100% trust to a stranger trust is never emotion after this revolution and this revolution has already began you can do whatever like you want to travel you want to do anything uh, you want to transfer an amount to someone just initiate a smart contracts with it get the payment when the job is done moreover you might be seeing that you have started trusting your strangers and sharing the cab or sharing the room earlier in my parents age they haven't done that it's a generation leap we have taken up on the trust and this trust revolution is a game changing in the whole global industry maybe i will say or the or the scientist or the computer programmer says that this revolution is bigger than the internet internet was just for sharing the information having the social imbalance or the social inequality people who have that access were getting more information and getting up to the other level but people who don't have they still into a very backward section but with blockchain everything is secured even if someone from a rural side to the someone from the urban side everyone is connected with the secured block cryptographic chains thank you everyone